Dajahao, Washi Surant Zai Zhongguo. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me. I am Surant in China, and welcome to the channel. And welcome back to all my subscribers and my new subscribers. We have received 50 new subscribers just in the past 30 days. Xie Xie Nin. And the reason is so many of you are remembering to hit that subscribe button and throw me a thumbs up. That is awesome. I really, really appreciate it. And hey, if you wanted to buy me a cup of tea or a bowl of noodles, there are a couple barcodes here on the sides of the screen for PayPal or WeChat. Whatever you would like to give, I would appreciate very much. But let's not worry about that for right now. Let's talk about something different. Instead of going outside and exploring the amazing and vibrant areas in China outside of the home, Let's take a look at something inside of the home. Now, maybe it's a rainy day, or depending where you are, a snowy one. Perhaps you're feeling a little under the weather, or you just want to stay in one night and watch some TV on the big screen. Now, I have a mini PC hooked up to my big screen, but that doesn't mean you have to to be able to watch movies and TV shows. When I signed up for my internet here in China, they offered me a bunch of different free bonuses, let's call them. Uh, IP cameras, services for my cell phones, etc, etc. But what I chose was this, which is a very simple and basic little IPTV Android box. And what it is, is it's a pre-programmed box with Chinese live television, TV shows, movies, variety shows, etc. that can all be controlled with a remote control. Now, there is one big glaring problem for foreigners with these type of devices, and that is they're all in Chinese. So unless you can read Chinese characters, how can you find the information you're looking for? Well, that's what I'm going to show you today. Is it absolutely necessary to be able to read Chinese to use this device? Absolutely not. I'm going to show you how just by learning to recognize a few characters, even if you don't know what they say, you don't know what they mean, you're going to remember where they are and what they look like. And then you're going to be able to find hundreds, if not thousands of quality television and movies and sports and other entertainment, not just in Chinese, but in English, French, German, Japanese, Thai, Swedish, etc., etc. But don't take my word for it. It's not as hard as it sounds. Let me show you. All right, everybody, really quickly here, I'm going to show you how we can use that Android TV box. Or uh, with a lot of modern televisions, they'll have these type of features built right in to watch television, whether it's live television or television programs and movies for free in China, even if you don't speak the language or know how to read or write. It's really not as bad as it looks. Now I'm looking at the main page of the TV box that came from China Unicom. As I mentioned, I got this box completely free as part of our internet package, but the TV also has a similar interface. And it does look a little imposing because there's absolutely no English, just a bunch of icons and Chinese characters. But all it really takes is learning to recognize a few characters as opposed to being able to read and write them ourselves. Let me show you what I mean. On this first page here, the main page of the interface, we've got a few very basic buttons that we can figure out just by looking at the pictures. For example, this um, icon here with the magnifying glass is a search. This icon here with the clock is a, a history button, so we can look at things that we've looked at in the past. This button is a community services button, which will show videos and information from the police and government, uh, health issues, safety issues, things like that. This button is the most common movies. The one next to it is a television with a fire on it, so obviously that's going to be the latest and greatest television shows. And the one next to that is 4K. Now, I did only get the basic package, which was completely free. Had I spent $30 a year, I could have gotten the premium package with a lot more content. But I really don't watch a lot of television, so I didn't think that it was going to be necessary. So when I do click the 4K button, there are 17 
4K movies available for me to watch. Um, a lot of them are in English. And uh, yeah, th this is kind of nice since I do have a 4K TV. If I did want to watch a couple 4K movies, I do have some options available. Cirque du Soleil, by the way, in 4K is amazing. And all of these movies are in English. However, that's not what we came to look at today. Today I want to show you these characters along the top. So here we're on the main page, but let's take a look at some of the categories to the right. The first one over is live television. Let me just hit the volume. Once again, we don't need to know the characters. We just need to know that this button is live television. It's easy enough to see because it shows an icon with the television camera. The icon right next to it is Dian Ying, which means movies. And once again, even if you didn't know that, seeing the uh, picture of the Bad Boys and the Black Panther movie posters, it's pretty obvious this is the movie category. The next one over with three characters is television shows. Now, it's not quite as obvious this time because it's only showing pictures of Chinese television shows, but if you remember three characters when all of the other ones are only two characters, then you can remember that this is TV shows. The one next to it is children's programming. Once again, it's very easy to tell that this is children's programming because it's a whole bunch of cartoons. If we move further, this category is variety shows. So if you like singing shows and operas and variety shows, which are very popular in China, this is where you would go. The next category is a, once again, the public service category where you can get information about safety, about travel, about uh, uh, health and wealth uh, and weather warnings, things of that nature. The next category, very obviously sports, where you can watch CCTV sports and many other options. Football, basketball, MMA, tennis, etc. The next category after that is educational programming. National Geographic, Discovery, these will be in Chinese, but the information contained inside is going to be amazing. Beyond that, we start getting into the everything else category cooking shows car car shows household shows things of that nature think uh um, home improvement things of things like that and then the last category is settings and specific apps if you happen to have them installed i find for the vast majority of the time i focus on the front three categories live tv movies and TV shows. So once again, just remembering what these characters look like and guessing from the pictures, we can figure out how everything works. Now live TV is really easy to use. We go to the uh, TV camera, we click on it, and it's going to give us a TV guide where on the left here, we can scroll through the different options. Now, of course, these will all be in Chinese. So it might not be the right thing for you, unless, of course, uh, you are interested in learning Chinese and want a full immersion or just want to see what's on live TV. There are different categories. For example, this category is on the province of Guangdong, where I live. If you live in a different province, it may have different channels. The one below it is the CCTV category, where it's going to be all the Chinese national television channels for movies, news, education, kids, things of that nature. Right now, we're watching CCTV One, which is the, the main CCTV station. So you can flick through these and get a lot of information, and it's all from within this one category. The category below it is the it has a clock on it so therefore that will be the history if you want to go back to a, a station that you watched in the past and don't want to scroll through all the other ones that's where you'd find it and this is pretty much the same for the rest of the categories here we have movies so if we go down here to the movie reel and click that one now there are 2,981 movies in this particular category. This category is the, the new, hot, uh, most popular category, the highest rated. However, there are, as you can see, a lot of other categories. For example, the next category down is going to be, um, again, this is going to be the, 
the popular TV shows, or, or sorry, movies right now. The next one is going to be foreign TV shows. And this is not just American. This could be American, it could be British, it could be French, it could be German, or many, many other countries. There are 1,728 movies just in this one category. Below that, we have children. Below that, we have, uh, these are the, um, the dramas. We have romances, we have action, we have kung fu movies. There's a lot of different choices. But as you can see, there are so many choices that to go over here and scroll through could literally take forever until you find something that you wanna watch. But we can make that a little easier. By coming back to the menu on the left-hand side, we can go up to what looks like an upside down coat hanger. When we click here, this is a filter. So in this filter area, as you can see, we have it selected now for all the, all the options. So we have access to 3,845 different movies right now. In this category that I'm in right now, I can start to narrow it down by the country. This category is China, so this would be all Chinese movies. The next category is America, so this would be all American movies, and so forth. The next category is French, the next category over here is Japanese, British, and then everything else. So if you want to watch American movies, all you need to remember is that these two characters are American. And that has 941 American movies in it. The next category down gives you more specific types of movies. Let's take a look here. So here we have um, action movies. Here we would have kids movies. Here we would have comedy movies, etc. Now, just by looking at the names of the movies, you can kind of figure out what the category is going to be um, without having to know, again, how to read the character specifically. And the next category, very obviously, is the year. So if you were looking for a movie from a specific year, it would just be as simple as clicking that year and finding the movie within that list if it existed within the 941. It's really as easy as that. And honestly, uh, it's, it's even more so because once you get into these categories and you click the movie itself, you press play. And nine times out of 10, you are going to find that that movie is, as in the case with the Pink Panther here, in English. Of course, we found a scene where nobody's talking. But you get my point. Very easy to find movies in this category. And the rest of the categories work the same way. If we go to the TV shows, once again, we're going to slick on, click on the selector. Now, in this particular category, we've got 1,867 TV shows, and these are series, complete series. 458 in this one, etc., etc. We have foreign TV shows, we have local TV shows, we have romance shows, war shows, all sorts of shows. And once again, we've got that upside down clothes hanger so we can narrow down our search even further. Now here we've got a grand total of 1,666 shows. We've got Chinese, we've got American, we've got uh, Japanese, and we've got British. Again, in the next category, we have the different types. We have comedy, we have action. And simply by clicking on the categories themselves, it should give you a very good idea of what types of movies, or sorry, TV shows these are. And just to show you, let's go to American TV shows. And we've got action picked at the moment. I'm just going to load one of these up to show you how this works. Now, if you just click the play button, you're gonna get the first episode of the first season. However, if we go to the next button over that looks like a list, it's going to allow us to choose the episode that we want in that season. So if I were to pick season one, episode six. It feels like a lifetime ago that I got arrested. Once again, the TV show is in English, 
you see there's a whole bunch of choice here now if i were to pay the for the premium package like i said very very cheap 30 dollars per year i would have way 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 more content children's shows are going to work just the same again we can choose the children's show selector here now in the children's show it doesn't have uh, a filter in the same way it did for the uh, movies and tv shows however kids like cartoons kids are going to go for whatever they can find and they're just going to watch what appeals to them whatever language it's in which could be really really good for an immersion environment if you've got kids that need to learn how to speak chinese while you're living in china this is going to be a big help and hey don't be shy it could help you too again this works for variety shows it works for the public service messages for sports i was really quite surprised to see that in sports you can even watch some of the latest and greatest mma matches that are available a little bit loud and you can watch these things in Chinese and English. There are Chinese MMA events. There are Bellator MMA events. This is really, really cool. So there we go. So don't be intimidated. If you do not feel like hooking up your computer or a computer to your TV while you're living in China, by all means, play around with the remote control just by learning that these two characters mean live TV. These two characters mean movies. These three characters mean TV shows, children's shows, variety shows, uh, service messages, sports, etc. You can get a wealth of absolutely free entertainment in your language of choice just by playing around a little bit. So there you go, everybody. I hope that helped. Do me a huge favor, if you did find this video interesting and helpful, hit that subscribe button on the way out and we will see you in the next video.